Um, first off, I do want to say that Rick and I are so excited to be back in Colorado. Um, I've only been here a week, so it's kind of a whirlwind, but we are ready to get back into watching women's basketball and the other sports. Uh, I really enjoyed meeting Lauren. She, the first thing I guess that came across to me is she just has this aura about her that she's so positive and energetic and has this energy about her that I'm sure is just going to come across on the court. Um, she has assured me she is 100% healthy, ready to go. And I, I thought it was kind of funny when I said, well, you know, when did you start playing basketball? I mean, were you young? Did you do the girly things like you know, dance or, you know, wearing little dresses. Because, you know, I have two girls that are totally opposite, too. And she said, no, it was always a ball in my hand, you know, and I owe it to my dad. Her father, Jerry, is here. And she said, rest assured, I get all my athletic ability from my father. <laughs> and I, one thing that was really funny is she said that she was on a, um, unlike Zoe, when she was on her five to six-year-old basketball team, she was going to shoot and her teammates would not give her the ball. So she said she was out there and she went and stole the ball from her teammates. <laughs> and she shot the ball and made a basket. So all the other parents were like, give the ball to Lauren, just give the ball to Lauren. <laughs> and she's only five or six and I thought that's, you know, so watch out teammates. She might just take the ball from you if you don't give it to her, right? Oh no, no, we've, we've grown up. <laughs> we've grown up since then. I, I feel like maybe they won't do that, so sorry Lauren. Um, she is from Littleton, so I guess there are a couple other athletes uh, that the families do live in Colorado, but I think you're the only native on the team right now, yeah. which is exciting. Um, I asked her to tell me maybe oh, her favorite food, which I agree, I'm a big Mexican fan, so I asked her where I need to go eat, and she said Casa Alvarez, so that is going to be on my radar now. I, mean, I told Rick we have to check that out. Um, I asked her if there's any other things that are her pet peeves that bother her. And um, there were a couple things, but the one she said is, you know, I can't stand it when I walk around campus and there's other students with like Pac-12 sweatshirts on that aren't Colorado. And she's like, who goes to Colorado and then wears these other team's sweatshirts? She goes, you know, I just can't understand that. So they better watch out because <laughs> that's just not right, right? And let's see, what other things? Oh, she is an integrated physiology major, which she has hopes to go to med school. Um, she did say that on one of her official visits prior to coming to Colorado that she got to go in to see the cadavers, and she, she drug her mom in there, and her mom's like, I don't think I want to go in here. <laughs> and she's like, this is so cool. Like, she loved it. She thought this is great. So, you know, it sounds like the medical field could be for you for that reason. Um, I, let's see, and what else do I have on you here, Lauren? Um, that you only played 30 minutes last year. So we're ready for her to play a lot more, Coach Lappy. And I'm excited to watch her, too. All right, and my question for you, this is a tough one. I couldn't even help her with this because, to be honest, um, well, you'll see when you hear the question. If you had to choose a cartoon character to describe each of your coaches, <laughs> who would they be and why? And that is all of your coaches. When I heard this question, I was a little taken back because I am not very good with cartoons. So let me first give a shout out to my teammates for helping me through this. <laughs> Thanks, Bree. So, I mean, start at the top with Coach Lappy. We had, you know, a couple options, but I ended up picking Blossom from the Powderpuff Girls. If you guys remember that show, she was like the leader. She's the leader of our team as our coach, and she's very like, think of the outcomes, you know, let's accomplish the mission. So, Coach Lappy. Then, we have Coach Jonas. <laughs> and Coach Jonas, I couldn't quite find a cartoon character for, so, we have this joke on our team that he epitomizes everything that is George Lopez. And so I couldn't think of a cartoon character, so G-Lo, you know, you gotta take that one. For Coach Watson, 
I don't know if you guys remember her, but Susie from the Rugrats. She was very, very smart and had no problem like explaining everything to every little fine detail. And we appreciate you for that, Coach Watson. <laughs> Coach Kelly, we decided you would be Lizzie McGuire because throughout the show, you know, she had a little animated character that would just narrate every little thing and coach Kelly has no problem saying everything that's on her mind and speaking it to its best. For JB, she's our director of operations and so we came up with Kim Possible <laughs> because you know she's always there to save the day you know we can call her beeper if we need to reach her Kim Possible. <laughs> and lastly newest member of our team <laughs> coach Joe our video coordinator I deemed him as Squidward because <laughs> Squidward is, you know, he's very sarcastic and like has dry humor and I felt that that epitomized Joe, so shout out to you Squidward. <laughs> but yeah, so there's our coaching staff in cartoons. <laughs>